What is going on, everybody? Happy New Year's Eve. Hopefully, you guys are having a fun day, but welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. And in today's one, I'm going to be showing you guys a glitch on how you can get unlimited XP in Fallout 76. With this glitch, you guys can expect to get around 170,000 XP per hour, but if you have a macro and are able to press the button way faster, you can get, you know, way, way more than that. And finally, if you guys are in the market or are looking for some dope legendary weapons or other items like that, feel free to check out U4GM. Link will be in the description, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright everyone, so you may recognize this glitch from Fallout 4, because this glitch was in that game as well, but for this glitch you are going to need to be duplicating a few items, those being stem packs and purified water, both are actually very, very easy to get. I've posted several guides in the past on how you can actually get a lot of stem packs, so I will put a link to that video in the description if you guys want to check it out as well. Um, as for the purified water, it's super easy to get, you can either craft that or you can, you know, make a water purifier and get it. But regardless, once you have your desired amount, just to sort of make this glitch faster, because if you guys are not familiar, this duplication glitch can be a little bit slow when you're first starting it up, all you're going to need is starting out, you know, 300 leather, 1500 wood, both are very, you know, pretty easy to get, honestly. But if you guys want a more in-depth guide on actually how to do this glitch, I will also link that in the description. I'm just going to briefly go over it. All you have to do is simply just craft 255 boards to start out with. It's going to cap you with that, so once you hit that 255 board cap, you're going to want to go ahead and drop that on the ground and then go ahead and make the rest of the uh, 50 boards. Because once you get over 300, it will disconnect your game. One thing I would recommend whenever you are dropping your boards, make sure you drop something before. Maybe drop a random, I don't know, a stem pack or a piece of ammo. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you have a you know bag there because sometimes when you drop items, they will fall through the world. And if these boards fall through the world, you'll lose all of your wood and you'll have to, the glitch won't work. So it's just going to, you know, a little safety measure to make sure that everything works correctly. And then once you uh, go back into your workbench, just finish crafting the 50 boards. And once you have crafted the 50 boards, go pick back up the 255 that you dropped and make your way to a container in the world preferably you can find one that has an unlimited amount of you know stash weight so these are all over the map guys literally go to any location most times you'll find one i'm not going to give a specific example because they're literally everywhere but once you have found this this is sort of where you can choose between doing it solo or with a uh, friend if you're doing this solo simply just put these in the container and wait for yourself to disconnect you'll disconnect within five minutes but if you are with a friend you can sort of speed up that process go ahead and put all the items in there you want to duplicate obviously you want to put in the purified water and the stem packs and then have your friend take them out of that container so now that they're are in his inventory once your friend has them, this is where you can either wait to disconnect or you can speed up this process by actually going into your inventory and trading with him. Trade him any item for one bottle cap and that will automatically crash your game the second he accepts it. From this point, you should be at the main menu. If you are doing this with a friend, just load back into the game off him. If you are doing it solo, go back into your recent players and load into off a player that was recently in your server that you were just in. Once you're back in the game, go back to that same container if you were on solo, and those items should still be in there. And so now you'll have one in your inventory and one in container. Just go ahead and take them out of the container. If you're uh, playing with a friend, just have him put the items back into that container from his inventory so you can put them back into your inventory, and now you'll have, you know, two stacks of what you duplicated. Once you have duplicated your desired amount of materials, I would recommend going into the thousands on this. It's easily the fastest. I just didn't duplicate that much because actually I lost like my thousands. We duplicated it and it, you know, messed up. So I only have 500 stem packs and a few hundred purified water on me. But I would recommend going upwards of 10,000. Once you get into the high numbers, it's really not that hard to duplicate anymore. But from this point, go to your chemistry workbench, go down to healing and go down to stem pack diluted. And from this point, guys, just spam the crap out of your, you know, whatever button it is to actually build this item that can be enter space click or whatever um, if you're on PC you can actually speed up this process greatly by using a macro doing this glitch normally by pressing it as fast as you can I can click it about four times per second you may have a faster trigger finger but as you guys can see every time the XP updates you're getting about 200 XP um, if you can actually set up a macro to where you can actually have this button press you know 50 times a second you guys can easily see how fast this XP can start to go up if I had to compare it, I'd say it's about as fast as the same disarm glitch. If you guys remember that from the past, it's about the same speed as that glitch um, just because, you know, you're just spamming a button. But I know a lot of you guys were looking for a fast way to get XP, and this is a really, really good way, especially if you are a low level. As you can see, I'm level 78, and I already hit level you know, 79 doing this glitch. It's really easy, but... um. That's pretty much for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Make sure you guys stay safe on New Year's Eve. If at any point in time in this video you did enjoy it or just found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.